Subtracting integers. The goals for this video are to model subtraction using bean counters and to use bean counters to develop rules for subtracting integers. In our first videos, we learned that the integer positive 1 can be represented using one yellow bean counter and that the integer negative 1 can be represented using one red bean counter. We also made use of the zero property. The zero property says that when the same number of yellow and red counters are placed together, they represent the number zero. So at the bottom of the screen, I have a grouping of three red counters and three yellow counters. When they're grouped together like that, that's one way of representing the number zero. Today's video also makes use of something called the additive property of zero. It says that zero may be added to any number without changing the number. So here is a grouping of four yellow counters representing the integer positive four. We can add any number of groups of yellow and red counters to that and still represent the integer positive four. So both of these groupings are ways of representing positive four. In our examples today, each example will have two parts. One is a subtraction and the other one is an addition. Look and see if you can find any patterns that are going on in these examples. So example one says to model eight minus three using the bean counters. So we start with eight yellow counters to represent positive eight. And as we learned in elementary school, subtraction means to take away. So I want to take away three yellow counters from the workspace. And what remains is the answer to eight minus three. So eight minus three equals positive five. For the second part of example one, we're going to model eight plus negative three. Start with eight yellow counters to represent the positive eight. Remember that addition means to put in, so we're going to put in three red counters for negative three. Notice that there are zero pairs in the workspace. Let's remove the zero pairs. Now compare this answer to the answer that we got in part one. Notice that they are the same answer. So eight minus three and eight plus negative three give the same answer, positive five. For example two, let's model negative seven minus negative five. Start with seven red counters to represent the negative seven Subtraction means to take away, so we're going to take away five red counters. What remains in the workspace is the answer to negative seven minus negative five. So negative seven minus negative five equals negative two. For the second part of example two, we're going to look at negative seven plus a positive five. Just as in the first part of example two, we start with seven red counters to represent negative seven. Remember that addition means to put in, so we put in five yellow counters. Notice that there are zero pairs in the workspace. Let's remove the zero pairs. Notice that the answer to this part of example two is the same as the answer to the first part of example two. So negative seven minus negative five and negative seven plus a positive five give the same answer. For example three, let's model six minus eight. Start with six yellow counters to represent the positive six. Now this asks me to take away eight. I don't have eight yellow counters in the workspace. So what I can do 
is put in some zero pairs, remembering adding zero doesn't change anything. So I put in enough zero pairs to get eight yellow counters in the workspace. And now I can take away eight yellow counters. And what remains in the workspace is the answer to 6 minus 8. So 6 minus 8 equals negative 2. For the second part of example 3, if you haven't guessed already, we're going to model 6 plus a negative 8. So just as in the first part, start by moving 6 yellow counters into the workspace, then add to that 8 red counters to represent negative 8. Remove the 0 pairs that are in the workspace. And what remains in the workspace is the answer. So notice that 6 minus 8 and 6 plus negative 8 give the same answer, negative 2. For the fourth example, let's model negative 4 minus negative 7. So we start with four red counters to represent the negative 4. And just as in example 3, I don't have enough red counters to take away, so I'm going to add some zero pairs until I get at least seven red counters in the workspace. Now I can take away seven red counters. And what remains is the answer to negative four minus negative seven. So negative four minus negative seven equals positive three. And for the second part of example 4, we're going to look at negative 4 plus a positive 7. Start with four red counters to represent negative 4. Add to that seven yellow counters for the positive 7. Remove the zero pairs. And what remains in the workspace is the answer. Notice that negative 4 minus negative 7 and negative 4 plus positive 7 give the same answer of positive 3. Now I'd like you to pause the video and write a rule that relates subtraction with addition. Did you write something like this? Any subtraction can be rewritten as an addition by changing the subtract sign to a plus sign and changing the sign of the second number. Let's practice rewriting subtractions as additions and then let's use our addition rules to find the answers. So our first problem is 6 minus 9. Did you rewrite it as 6 plus negative 9 and get an answer of negative 3? Did you rewrite negative 5 minus 10 as negative 5 plus negative 10 and get an answer of negative 15? Did you rewrite negative 9 minus negative 4 as negative 9 plus a positive 4 and get an answer of negative 5? Did you rewrite 7 minus negative 6 as 7 plus a positive 6 and get an answer of positive 13? This finishes the video on subtracting integers.